All right, this video is going to be kind of a summary of my past week in growing this business. We are based in Utah, we've expanded into Colorado, and we are trying to document this process um, just kind of for fun, really. I mean, even if it's just for me, it's kind of a fun look back. We've been based in Utah, we've been in there for about seven or eight years, we have a decent sized team and uh, we're just growing right so we've expanded into colorado we do drywall repair so we do water damage cracks small remodels accidental damage things like that we and that's exclusive what we do we are humoring about getting into the paint industry um about painting our products or paint what we patch but that's it we don't do handyman stuff and i think that's what sets us apart is we're exclusively drywall repair potentially paint now um and that's it. We're very good at what we do. So we're expanding into Colorado. This week, if you watch my other videos, it kind of goes into the day-to-day -day of how those days looked. And I have been very, very active every single day, busting my butt, getting up at uh, 5.30, and I quit working at 8 or 9, you know, sometimes a little later, and I'm just balls to the wall. Tuesday through Friday, I was physically on the field for 9 hours. And uh, then Saturday, Sunday, if you watch those videos, um, active, active. So basically what I've done today is um, I started the Google landing page. I started modifying the website. We have a yard side designed. Uh, I had a great interview today with a potential hire because the, the purpose of this is I'm the owner of the company. The purpose of this is to hire somebody and then they do the work out here and help grow this beautiful business along with us. And so uh, we interviewed today for the lead position here. So that person would kind of be the me here in Colorado. Um, and with any business, if you're looking to expand, you have to rely on people and their expertise and their skill levels and then promote and honor those skill levels. So we had a great interview today. So today I did a lot of that paperwork side, a lot of that admin crap. Uh, starting tomorrow, I'm back on the field. And um, so tomorrow, I'm hopefully going to get yard signs printed. I need to figure out a Colorado number. Um, and I don't know how that looks yet because we have a, a Utah number and we're not going to change that. So do we do two phone numbers, two phones? Don't know. But I, I think Colorado, if people see an out-of-state number, how would you feel? If you saw an out-of-state number... Would you call them for service or would you want like a local number? Would you get creeped out? So that's my thought. Um, but wow, we've had a great experience so far. I've spent probably in total maybe $3,700 for everything. I own the van, so I'm not including that. But that covered tools, that covered hotel, that covered my flight home, that covered gas, that covered food, everything. I'm all in, seven days in. Um, thirty-seven hundred dollars, and the hotel takes me all the way for another till this Friday, um, so that's already paid for. And then in revenue, I'm about five thousand so far in revenue, so I'm already up like twelve hundred bucks or thousand bucks or something. So all next week, except material, um, is is on the plus side for the one state. Now Utah is taking care of itself financially, so in my head, I'm going to take all these profits that I'm earning and put it right back into Colorado through advertise, advertisement, Facebook posts. We can just start doing Google AdWords. Before I do Google AdWords, I need a, a landing page on my website that says Colorado, just so there's no confusion, because we don't want to waste those ad dollars. So seven days in, I've never done this before. Call, uh, Utah, we, we have a good sized company there, but we have not like done this where I've gone to another state and done this process so it's very cool it's interesting it's kind of fun for me to document it because it kind of like keeps me accountable and honestly i think that might be a trend that while you're growing a business you just document all the uh ups and downs because it kind of self accountables yourself um because what if you fail and then you tell people you're failing and and that's tough. So uh, here's one fail, I guess. We had an interview set up for today, and he canceled on me. He said, well, this was a couple days ago. I hadn't shared this. But he said, oh, hey, I, I, I would be interested in the managerial task, and but not the upfront work. 
and it's like because we're just a new new branch so when we start we need that person to work the field full time for a while six months or so and that's the problem with these freaking kids these days it's it's they just want the big the big uh, salary and no work and that's really frustrating life's about very very hard work you got to work so hard and then when you as an individual have worked that hard you kind of have built up and then you have earned this this down so um or the reward or whatever uh the the world's in trouble with uh what these kids think life is uh because that's not how it works so you got to work real hard to get where you want to be and um and then you can rip the reward. So, but anyway, then we had another guy. This guy seems really good. He's uh, he's more my age, kind of a guy. And man, we really liked him. I think uh, hopefully that works out. I won't share any names or anything yet, but um, yeah, hopefully this guy works out. So, end of day seven, and uh, I really don't think I'm going to do anything left for today. I'll probably end up getting dinner somewhere. Um, I think that's about it. Probably. Like, uh, I, I just don't think there's anything more I could do. I could make a Facebook post. Let's keep going. Let's keep grinding. Let's not stop. I'll make a Facebook post about some, about Colorado and just keep pushing until I die. Uh, anyway, very cool uh, process. And um, I appreciate, you know, anybody that's watching this because it's kind of fun. Uh, yeah. So I'll post again tomorrow. Tomorrow's a weird job. It's up like um, an hour plus away. So I don't know how much I'll actually earn physically tomorrow because I'm like two hours in the car driving. So anyway, good day.